Well, that didn't take long. As soon as I uh, started running this thing, I realized that this left-hand pulley was indeed not spinning. This is the first time I've run it in the daylight where I could actually see it. But uh, that's how much that's worn. And it wrecked the shaft and everything too, so... At this point, I'm okay with trying a redneck approach. It had this washer down in here. So, what I'm thinking about doing, because this nut, even if it goes right there, has a lot of room. If I get a nice heavy washer and put down here, and just tighten it up, seeing if it'll spin most of the way. I won't tell anybody if you won't. And nobody knows. Alright. <laughs> now let's add some gas and get going. So I don't know if anybody remembers the, uh, the 12G deck and the not spinning the spindle blade fiasco. So uh, I ordered some parts off of eBay. I got another sheave or pulley, whatever you want to call it, and I got another shaft. The splines are really good up there. The threads down here are a little sketch, but I ran a nut up on them and the nut seems to go up on there okay, so... They look terrible and they actually look worse in the camera. But the nut seems to hold on there okay, and... The blade nuts are double a regular nut. I just ran a regular uh, three quarter. It's a coarse thread. I don't remember what it is. Maybe three quarter ten. Could be. I don't remember. But anyhow, ran that up on there. It goes up on there fine. So hopefully one of tomorrow's adventures. Plus I need to order blades so I can finish that. Is um, pulling the spindle shaft out of here and. Swapping the blade and the cradle on here. And uh, I guess we'll just go from there. It'll be nice if I can pick the deck up enough to get the blade nut off. Which I think I can. Maybe I can't. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see on that, I guess. But, um... If I can do that, then I can push the seal and the bearing out through the top, which in my opinion is easier, and especially since the deck's still on the tractor than doing the bottom. And I guess if that doesn't work out, I'll take the deck off and stand it up on its side, and we'll do it that way. So, I guess I'll bring you guys along for that ride, and we'll go from here. I should probably take the carb apart on this and try and clean it. But it runs so good, it just leaks through while it sits sometimes. You just shut the fuel off, it'll be okay. You know how it goes. So, hopefully that'll be tomorrow's project. And then uh, I'll make up my mind which 12G I want to keep and which one I want to sell. I kind of, to be honest with you guys, I kind of want to keep this one. Wow, it's got a ton more hours on it. It's kind of... I like the style of decals that are on this. This is a first gen 12G. And the 88 is a second gen with the screen printing. And the, the screen printing, it just all fades off of there like like 88 is. So so anyhow, that's something I kind of got to mull over. But uh, definitely another one I'm, I'm thinking about selling here. Getting them, getting them fixed up and send them down the road is what I'm up to. So later guys. Alrighty guys, I think I've convinced myself that I ought to just take the deck off of this because it would make more sense. Um, I don't know. Seems like a better idea. Now I'm wishing... Uh, I just put this on the tractor inside the last two weeks. So, I guess uh, I'll take it back off. It's not like it's hard. Um, wheel it off from underneath the tractor and then maybe I can shove the tractor over against the wall or something give me a little more room to work here don't need a lot but when you have two or three projects in here or four this small shop 
becomes kind of full. Need to finish up some stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. Even if this wasn't right here, then I'd have a spot I could stand the deck up. So, anyhow, I think I'm going to pull this out of here, and if I have to, I'll kick the tractor outside. I don't really think I'll need to. I can slide the Navy all back a little bit. So, anyhow, let me do that, and I'll get back with you guys. And I'll show you guys doing the spindle and shaft, or spindle, shaft, and pulley. However you want to look at it. I'll try and show you guys. So step one here. I guess maybe this is step three at this point. But I have removed the deck from the tractor. Also removed the belt covers just to uh, speed this up. And I also, I was just looking at this before I turned the camera on. And this pulley here is messed up. Check out how much room is here. And then it's actually touching... We're rubbing the deck on the the lower side here, the way we're looking at it. So uh, I have to work on that while the belt's off. So the next step here. Oh, sorry guys. All right, next step here. Loosen up the belt. Hopefully, can do that without. Whoop. I was gonna put you guys on the tripod. I should have. Uh, 9 16 wrench. Loosen the belt up to the point we can get get it off. Bad idea to take that rod off. So let's see. Okay, so I think the main problem with the idler pulley is it's just loose. So the whole pulley is moving, it's not just a bearing. So we'll deal with that. And this right here, the issue is the spines are missing. So, let me uh, off camera here. Well, I'll break the camera back out, but we'll take this top nut off. And take the blade nut off. And I might be able to, I guess we'll just go through the top, It'd be easier. Um, this shaft, other than the splines, is good, but the splines are messed up. So, anyhow, let me put you guys on the tripod, get the impact set up, and we'll get this apart. Okay, got my earring, earring protection, my hearing protection in. Uh, I'm going to attempt to take the blade nut off first. Come off just fine. Can't really show you guys, I guess. Hindsight's always 20 20. I think most of you know how that goes. So, we got the blade adapter, the blade, and this one here, the washer was underneath with the nut. So at least that came apart. I think if you guys saw my last uh, spindle video, you know, uh, I went to take the nut off one and the nut did not come off. It broke the shaft. Yeah. Okay. Should be done with that now. Oh, I thought it was. I think you guys can see how much that's wiggling around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of that is the, uh, the pulley on the shaft. So this was my fix to get around it. And I think as you guys can see, I don't, it may have spun a little bit, but it's, did not spin a lot. It actually stuck to the pulley nice. So we got extra washers and the nut laying up here. Trap shaft. Smooth on the inside.
And like I think I mentioned, I'm going to try and drive this out through the top because the seal is going to be easier to put in up here. having to drive out is the, the steel the main thing you're having to drive out is the seal because otherwise the bearings and everything should come should come right off there so oh this shaft is even really worn wow check out Sloppy of a fit that is. My God. So the bottom one's not as bad. No, the bottom one is nice. So I would say this thing got ran with the top nut loose. I think is what happened. So that's why it's always a good idea. To, uh, to make sure you have it put together right, because if you don't, it can cause you a lot of grief. Oh yeah, that, that fits on there nice and tight. The next thing here... This, uh, the retaining washer kind of got goofed up a little bit retaining washer, this tin washer here. Just try and flatten her out a bit. There we go. Better than what we had going on. Now as far as these, this is legit just a piece of steel. There is no rubber seal to this so it does not matter which way you put this in but what I'm gonna do is put it back in the way I found it and that's gonna be this side down I would say and I know you guys are already gonna be yelling at me to get a seal driver or something but generally speaking shaft protruding this much, a normal seal driver won't work and the shaft has to be installed before you can put the seal in it. Just because welcome to uh, gravely spindles. Oh, put back in there. Now what I'm going to do Is this little bit of grease I got on my fingers here. I'm just gonna kind of run these in here because if these splines work back and forth on each other, that's what will uh, will wear them back and forth. I hadn't touched anything greasy before this today, and then here's how she goes. Let's give her a light tappy tap here. on there. Now, I don't think this should have a washer under them. I just realized this is a different style pulley. They're the same, same overall. See the, the difference there? But the groove for the belt rides is in the same place. So 
if I have trouble with this, I'll know to change this pulley. I'm leaning towards not putting that washer in there, but I don't think it occurred anything. Started. I guess right now I'll put the uh, the blade and the blade adapter back on, and then we'll tighten the top up and make sure it doesn't bind. Is the main thing. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see a thing that I'm doing, and that's fine. Try to do this in one take, guys. One take. This is when you find out the audio is not working or something. The video wasn't focused. Hopefully I hit record. <laughs> Alright, so. I may have to go find a deep well 1516 to do the top. You would think I would have one, but I broke one. Looks like it should work. Okay. Hitting on a piece of steel on the back here. Just the main thing when you put these together, when you tighten both nuts, there should be almost no end play and the spindle should spin freely. So I think we're good there. Now Is that even in frame? It kind of is. Should be nine sixteenths, but Nine sixteenth wrench guys. Oh, and the nine sixteenth is missing. Oh yeah, I was using it. I used it to take the belt off. What did I do with it after that, guys? I personally think this idler pulley's on upside down, to be honest with you. I really think that idler pulley's on upside down. It's not touching, but... It, well, all you can do is stick it on and tighten the belt up and... See if she touches, I guess. Right, guys? Right. I also should have, uh, put the belt on the pulley whenever I put it on there. So, belt's on. The only thing I don't like is that this pulley is 
different diameter. But I can't I can't reuse this pulley. I mean there's nothing nothing. Nothing left to grab onto. So I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for another 40 inch pulley. Because I did forget the 40 inch pulleys are smaller. The 40 inch decks actually spin faster. So now now hopefully you guys can see basically uh I can't remember what the measurement is. It probably tells you here. 15 thousandths air gap in the springs. So does anybody out there really get a feeler's gauge out and measure this? I have to fully admit, I don't. It's kind of... figure this is an old belt so it's not like it's going to uh, stretch or anything Sixteenth here, so we'll use the uh, the old croissant wrench. So that holds your belt tension tight. Nothing's hit. Hitting except for the, the blade on that piece of steel and the jumper cables I have back here. So we got that. Oh, you guys are still staring down there. My apologies, guys. So we got two things fixed new spindle shaft in here, a new pulley, and we fixed this so it's not rubbing, so that'll help a lot. It'll actually rob a lot of power with stuff like this loose. You'd be surprised. Especially on a tractor that's only 12 horsepower. That can, uh, that can mean a lot. So, while I'm here, since we did just put a new spindle shaft in here, and a little, got a little blob of dirt on the end of the grease gun. So, uh, just kind of grease this up. Work it back and forth as much as I can right here. One more pump. I don't know if you guys heard like the, I call it like the air crack when it starts, when it starts coming out. And you don't want to go any more than that. Technically, if this has rubber seals in it and you do that, you already screwed up and went too far. We just blew the seals out. So uh, that's all there is to replace in a spindle shaft and a sheave on Gravely. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Um, and you too could probably do this at your house. Shop your parts off of eBay and uh, make sure you got the right size pulley going on. Because this is bigger, so that means. If I'm not mistaken, this will turn slower. It'll turn slower. So, that's actually the opposite. It'd be, uh, well, it might be alright. Because it won't jam it into the other the other blades and leave clippings. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Blades look pretty good, and since it's cold and rainy. Cold, rainy, and supposed to snow here like the next three or four days, or a chance of it. The highs are only going to be low 40s, maybe mid 30s. So. All right, fellas. Guess uh, I'm going to put this back under the tractor and get the shields back on, and I'll catch you guys whenever I get a chance to uh, take it outside for a little bit of a test mode.
Later, guys. Just so everybody knows, it was 19 minutes and 20 seconds to right now. Full recording. Uh, there's going to be a couple minutes I cut out where I was looking for the wrench I had in my hand three seconds ago. So, Anyhow, later, guys. i got to turn the camera off with these greasy nubs. Pinky finger is pretty clean. I ain't a rocket scientist, but uh, that should have splines. There's your problem. Well, junk now. Great. So the deck's back on, back together, and I will, I do want to make a couple notes of things. Especially while you have something like this off, guys, you know, be tightening stuff up. Like this wheel here was loose. Tighten that up, it's a whole lot better. The lift eye down there, or the lift ball where the lift rod was at, that was loose. I tightened that up. So just, uh, you know, while you're down there, be checking stuff out. You never know, you might find something that uh, you'd be glad you found. and. You'll be happy it didn't fall off in the middle of a parade or something. Ask me how I know. That's kind of embarrassing. So. Anyhow, guys, that's going to be it for right now. Till uh, we get some decent weather and I'm not working, which I have no idea when that'll be. So, alright, guys, catch you later.